Meet Cairo, the newest worker at MedStar Georgetown University Hospital's oncology pharmacy. His colleagues say he's quiet, punctual, and pulls his weight, preparing roughly 40 of the hospital's 100 chemotherapy orders a day. Pharmacist Mame Adaka is a co-worker. He does, uh, works really well alongside our team, but he's also a very important part of our team. Is he competition? No, no, we don't, we don't compete here. Mixing chemo drugs can be dangerous. The toxic formulas designed to kill cancer cells pose a risk to the pharmacists who handle them, requiring protective gear in the event of a spill. And you can see in front of the robot, there's a screen right now. Senior pharmacy director orders, Long Trin says Cairo reduces that risk and increases productivity. It takes now 10 minutes on average for chemotherapy to be prepared by a robot where it took maybe 20 minutes uh, to be prepared by an employee. Cairo's specialty, some of the most commonly used chemo drugs that treat 14 cancers, including breast and lung. Barcodes and cameras track Cairo's moves, ensuring the mixtures are correct. And then the chemo is handed off. What is this? Well, this is Luke, our delivery robot. Um, after the chemotherapy medication is compounded, the medication can then be placed in the delivery robot to be delivered to the infusion suite for our nurse. Luke is pre-programmed to follow a specific route between the pharmacy and patients, equipped with sensors to make sure he doesn't bump into anything. More and more hospitals are using robots. Sir Mix-a-Lot does chemo prep at the Mayo Clinic. You could run into Robot Tussin, Zippy and Charlotte at Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center. And big pharmacies like Walgreens have robots manning micro-fulfillment centers to combat human pharmacist burnout. They don't have to count and put pills in bottles and actually putting them more on a, a patient facing and a consumer facing health journey. At Georgetown, it then routes to the robots. Trin insists Cairo won't replace people, but make pharmacists jobs easier. We can reimagine where the pharmacist's work could be located at, perhaps now located right at the patient bedside, working with the nurses, the physician to provide direct patient care. Machines and man working together for better care. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Washington. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.